the franchisor will ask you for a commitment uh, at the time that the disclosure documentation and the draft franchise documentation is given to you. Uh, now, uh, most franchisors these days are actually um, being very forthcoming with that stuff. They're almost using it like a, like a brochure. Uh, if you go to a trade show, some franchisors will actually give you a blank set of that documentation and say, here, take this away and read it. We've got nothing to hide. This is us. And I think that's actually a step forward for franchisees. You get plenty of time to look at that. Uh, franchisors of the good franchise groups will not press you to commit. In fact, some of them uh, make it rather difficult for you to progress. Uh, I know that uh, there are a couple of the large uh, food groups that will actually make you sit through an induction process of several days, uh, separate to and before training. Uh, uh, there are several now that are doing psychological profiling to make sure that the franchisees that they do take have the right stuff. Uh, the franchisors that are serious about this know that they're wasting huge amounts of money um, taking on people who later won't commit or will fail their training or will not make a go of a franchise territory. So these days the, the tendency is far more uh, to say to the franchisee, look, don't commit until you're serious. But ultimately, at some stage, uh, once you've done all of this homework and you've said to the franchise, or yes, I believe uh, I want to go into this and I believe this is the territory or this is the outlet that I want, if the franchisor is happy with that, they will give you a completed set of disclosure documents, franchise documents and a contract if uh, it's an existing outlet. And at that stage, you are committing to them. You still have your cooling off period you still have your finance and due diligence clauses and your other subject to clauses in the contract. But that's when you'll have to pay a deposit. That's when you'll have to uh, commit to paying the upfront capital cost of getting started. So that's when you really need to be happy that you're going to go ahead and that this decision passes the sleep test. Will it keep you awake at night or are you comfortable that you're going ahead and that it's the right decision? If you can't pass that sleep test, don't sign.